right out of college. I read an article in Scientific American, and the last story in there was by Francis Crick, and he said, hey, we have all these facts about brains, but we really have no idea how they work. And I said, wow, what an important problem to understand. Our brains are the source of all questions and all knowledge. So this, to me, is the largest, most interesting philosophical thing anyone could work on. For the first time, we're really beginning to understand how our own brains work, and we're gonna be building machines that work on those same principles, machine intelligence. The main problem with prior attempts at using machine learning to model behavior is that the attempts were not based on brain principles. It's really as simple as that. I think that the only reasonable way is to use actually mechanisms that are at least similar to what the brain is doing. Nature had a couple of million years to develop the brain in the way we have it today. We have to start getting into the mode of thinking about machines that learn. Nementa is all about doing fundamental research in how the brain works and turning that into a technology that can be used to create machine intelligence. Our approach is to start with the biology, start with the human neocortex, which is the organ of intelligence and understand exactly how it works in detail, and then move that into a technology. Our goal is not to recreate any brain or a human brain, but just to understand the principles by how it works, and then use those principles in technology. At Nementa, we decided to be very open about our research and our technology. Everything we do is available on the web in an open source project. I think it's very important to join forces uh, to tackle these kind of problems. You need so many different expertises. The endeavor of creating machine intelligence and understanding how the brain works is bigger than one company. It's something that's going to impact all people around the world. And we really want to accelerate this technology. And the best way to do that is to be completely open about it, completely transparent. And that's the approach we've taken. Intelligent computers modeled on the brain will enable more and more things to be done that we haven't even imagined. The progress is continuous, it's accelerating. This is a pivotal point in humanity and we're playing a role in that. And it's exciting to be there.